I hope that you, your families and all whom you care about are safe and well at this difficult time. The last two and a half months have genuinely been unprecedented for all of us and coronavirus poses a very serious challenge to individuals, communities and businesses across the world. I wanted to assure you on behalf of all of us at NRW that we recognise the importance of the timber supply chain and the continued management of the Welsh Government Woodland Estate. We are confident that we can continue our work in support of forest operations so as long as it remains safe and compliant for us to do so, following Welsh Government and UK Government guidance on social distancing and hygiene. This March marks the, the, the anniversary of our first Timber Matters newsletter. This is one of the new channels that we introduced uh, as part of our commitment to you to improve our communications. We hope that you found those newsletters over the past year informative and of interest. And we look forward to continuing with them and keeping you updated on all the latest forestry news from NRW. We've made a lot of changes over the last year to our commercial timber sales and I'm pleased to say that we are confident that we're in a much better place than we were uh, when the Grant Thornton report landed. We've made changes to our forestry structures and teams and introduced integrated working across our central and operational functions. This has allowed us to work more closely with local partners and communities and to deliver more for the environment, our natural resources and for the people of Wales. We've refreshed our governance frameworks and, and looked at the way in which we manage our finances um, implementing new contractual terms and conditions for all SAP timber sales contracts and new financial controls as well. We've implemented new policies and procedures for the handling of all aspects of our sales and trained our staff in these new procedures. But one of the most important things for me was improving our relationship with our customer base and rebuilding that trust with you and the timber industry. I'm really grateful to Comfort for all that they've done to help this. We meet with them regularly and with members um, to address concerns that are raised and to think about ways in which we can improve the way we work. We've re-established trade days and remain committed to our annual customer liaison day each January. Um, it, seems, it seems quite a long time now since I met many of you in January um, and outlined some of the, the further changes that we are looking to make and the work that we're doing to create a new timber marketing plan from next April. But my message to you today is really a simple one, that we are committed to the timber trade in Wales. It's so important for the Welsh economy, for Welsh communities, and we want to work with you at this very difficult time to ensure that it remains um, an important part of uh, the Welsh uh, economic base. Um, I know that many of you are in regular contact with our harvesting managers and uh, I would encourage you to continue that dialogue. Um, but if you have any other questions or concerns 
you can get in touch with, with us by email um, or via the website. Um, so I wish you all the best. Um, these are tough times, but together I believe that we can uh, emerge from this um, with a continuing strong timber sector in Wales. So I hope you all keep safe and well. Goodbye.